I have two hood release cables from one of each of my Mazdas, the 76 and the 74. The 76 is broken. The threaded attachment point is made out of plastic, so that was an easy break, you know, that's gonna happen. On the 74, the threaded attachment point is made out of metal. So while this is an old cable, I think I'm gonna clean this up and use it again because it's my original equipment, 74. I'd rather use OEM than aftermarket. Now, I do have an aftermarket cable. You can get them all day long on eBay. There's a guy in Taiwan, or no, there's a guy in Thailand has them made. They're the right length. They're fairly inexpensive. The handle's slightly different. They're like 30 bucks with $15 shipping. So you're looking at 45 bucks coming out of Thailand. I clearly can't use the 76 with the broken plastic threaded section. The 74 is looking much better. It's made out of metal. I'm gonna clean it up, shine it up, make it look like it's brand new. And I'll be back in business with a hood release cable. So the original Mazda cable has this grommet here that goes between the firewall through where the cable goes through. Keep everything sealed out, dust, you know, critters, insects. Uh, impossible to find. So what I've done is I've gone to the hardware store and picked up, um, you know, a large grommet which will act as the outer diameter. And I've got this smaller guy that just happens to fit inside the big one. So when I put these two together, the result will be that I have a suitable replacement for this OEM grommet that is toast. That'll work. You know, sometimes you just gotta figure out a way to make shit happen. And that's what I came up with for the firewall grommet on the hood release cable. All right, let's clean it up. So I'm also gonna hit the plastic here with uh, Black Wow. It really restores plastic well. I'm gonna use it to shine this puppy up. So the metal shaft is a little bit scuzzy, so I'm gonna hit that on the wire wheel. Oh, that's looking way better. Way better. All right, cool. So I'm using my original 74, like we talked about when I was cleaning it. Freshly plated nut going on. Concave side goes towards the handle. And this little thread on underneath the dashboard. Got a freshly plated clip that goes on the hood latch and a new grommet that I'll put on after I've gone through the firewall here. Coming from the inside, just to the right of the electrical plug is the firewall hole. So, it through there. that and then the bracket here there we go okay just snugging it up finger tight for now put my grommet on, small end of the firewall. Okay, we're in. That wasn't easy. That's a grommet that I manufactured in the absence of a real Mazda firewall grommet for the hood cable. So for the clip, I'm going to start it in this way. 
pop up through the space. Hearts and minds. Who did you want to be? Did you follow the rules and did it set you free? There we go. Nice and firm. Take my temporary coat hanger out of the way. Out you go. And then... Sure, I like the routing. I don't like the routing. I'm gonna do that again. I like the routing. I'm gonna route through here. Yeah, let's see how that works. Looks good. It's good. And that's where we're going to end this episode, which brings us to the question of the day. I've got my rear quarter emblem housings back from Dave at Restore Maz, who did a fine job of bringing them back to life. Now, these were done in typical Australian fashion. The U.S. model emblem is typically chrome and then you've got these little black jobs that go in the center you know that cover the screw holes so what i'm going to do now is convert to um, either super deluxe or gs or gt now what do you guys think about that which way should we go do i want to go super deluxe gs or gt we didn't have those options in the United States. I don't know what they mean as far as the trim level of your vehicle. Let's have a little convo about that in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you have to say. Which badge? Why? Fill me in. Coming up next, left side wire limb coming through. Wire harness for the right side of the car. It's going back in today. Click our icon to subscribe and don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Peace out, brother.